Good morning, students. Today we are going to take up a very important topic of physical geography, and that is weathering. Now we all know that the surface of the Earth is continuously undergoing changes. Some of these changes are very slow. So you can see this huge rock has been changed into this kind of shape. Now this change must have taken place thousands of years. So this is a very slow change. While a volcanic eruption is a change which can occur very fast. Similarly, an earthquake is also a change which can bring about changes on the earth very quickly. Now, there are several examples which tell us that how the changes on the earth which are occurring has been sculpting the earth very, very slowly. For example, Grand Canyon, the Himalayas, Deccan Plateau, all of these landforms have been created as a result of gradual changes subjected to the planet. Now there are two basically changes which occur on the earth. They are internal force and external force. Ex internal force include a volcanic eruption, an earthquake, a tsunami triggered by an intense earthquake under water. However, external force like floods, soil erosion, glaciation, etc. All of them keep sculpting the surface of the earth and keep changing the earth. Here we can see how the earth is changing constantly. Now these are the slow changes which includes erosion, weathering, deposition and the slow changes include canyons, valleys, caves, deltas, mushroom rocks and other rock arches. So these are very slow changes and we are not able to see it during our lifetime. However, rapid changes which occur are the result of natural disaster. They include landslides, volcanic eruptions, floods, tsunamis, etc. And we can see how these examples bring about a lot of change on the surface of the earth very quickly. Slow changes have been taking place ever since the earth came into existence and they are still going on today. Mountains and other highlands are being reduced in height due to erosion. While basins and depressions are being filled up and their heights are increasing. Here we can see how the Erosive agents from nearby areas are filling up this depression. And after several thousands of years, this area might become a higher region than what we are seeing it today. So this lesson which we are going to do is related to physical geography and what I just now explained was just the introductory part of the lesson. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.